What's up guys, it's Dream Arts here. I'm coming up with a new tutorial. This time this is uh, how to make a real nice render or text on Cinema 4D tutorial. Before I start it, I'm just gonna say that I'm, my strange is my voice is really strange now because I'm sick, so but I still hope you can uh, hear me clearly. But yeah, let's just start it. So as you can see on the screen, uh, this is the Obey logo, the Obey logo. I made a material on that and uh, and I'm just gonna render it, let it render it really quick so you can see how that looks. Um, I think this is a really cool, really cool render though. So yeah, like here you can see it. Now I think that really looks really realistic and uh, I think it lo looks really cool. So I'm gonna show you how you do that. Um, let's make a text. Uh, I have actually I make, made a text with that texture before material, so this is gonna be a little bit exciting though. So yeah, all right. So here I have my text. Uh, I'm just gonna make this smaller. So uh, what are we gonna do? What are we going to write on this? Uh, let's just write. Or not that too long, I think. Dream works out. Okay, um, and now you want to find a really cool font to it. Or wait, first just let let us uh, change the depth first. Uh, I think about hundred, maybe maybe too long. Uh, but we we're gonna change that later when we find a good font. Oh shit, and then you go, <laughs> after you're done with your death, then go on caps and uh, change, this was, this was not cap, you know? yeah, and then change it to fill cap and uh, take that about one, oh no, I'm meter, but one, and uh, take also the other one to fill cap and that as well on one. So now we're gonna find a cool font to it, um, well, yeah, my computer is a little bit slow though so okay um what kind of text do I want now maybe a hardcore text I don't know wait oh whoops um this is really hard actually because I can't see nah uh, no not at all being uh, cop I had it on my last video I think it would be really cool oh shit never mind Mm. Okay, we we'll just go for this one. Okay, I think it looks a little real cool. So uh, what are you gonna do is, uh, and the fill cap is like no, the depth is really perfect actually. So or wait, seventy five. Let's just see how that looks. Oh, it's just the same. So yeah, seventy five or one hundred depth doesn't matter. So um, now we're gonna make the material. So just double click or. Yeah, just double click here and uh, then this shall come up, this new mat. What you're going to do is first uh, you're going to pick a color, um, let's say about 20 there, 20 there and 20 there. Now you get this black color and what you're going to do is like press on this button. And then this is an important part, you're going to find a cool texture that you have in, on your computer uh, that you think will look really cool. Um, like I got a lot of hair, um, like this looks really cool, this looks really cool, but I want to go for the same as I had on the Obey logo, uh, which is this one. So let's just do that. And now this comes up, uh, it looks a little bit weird though, but it's not done yet. Uh, now you want to make a cool realistic look to it, so what you're going to do is go on Displacement, and then find the same texture. <laughs> doesn't have to be the same texture but right here I want to use it so yeah and then you see this <laughs> what is what happened to this actually I don't know what happened to it but this happened to it so you want to take down the strength a little bit maybe to about 60% yeah alright and now um, I'm actually done with it but you can add some more effects like reflections if you want maybe maybe why not you know 
maybe some glow i don't know it depends it all depends on what you want out of it so maybe i want to make this all black so it gets a little bit darker luminance let's see if it can have no 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 not luminance i want to make it dark so yeah um let's just go with this one okay so just drag that on your text and now you're gonna if you want to have the realistic look to it you're gonna have to click on the material um, change the pro projection to cubic and now this happened so uh, you can also like change um, click on seamless if that looks better for you or not you can see the difference here I think it's better with our seamless so yeah let's just see how that looks just gonna move it there all right, now it's raining. Yeah, I can take a little while. Um, gonna take a lot of while. You know what? I'm just gonna pause it, and then when it's done, I'm just gonna resume it. So yeah, I see you later, guys. All right, we are back, guys, and now as you see, it's raining now. Yeah, really nice, really nice. So this is how I basically make my materials in Texas sometimes. Um, Let's just let it render out fully, real quick. It also depends on what light room you have as well, because if you have a really bad light room, you will not be able to make a really cool text. So definitely have a nice light room. Uh, if you don't know how to find it, just download some GFX packs. Example, my GFX pack has some awesome light rooms on there, so definitely check that out. And uh, yeah, back to this tutorial, you see how the text got now. It looks really cool, really realistic, and um, I think this is a really cool one, uh, but it's not perfect yet. And of course, you have to do something on Cinema 4D. You have to change it a little, maybe put some drop shadow on it, and maybe make it darker with putting an overlay on it. And yeah, you know, you just do your thing with it. And uh, this is how DreamArts makes his golly text. So, if you want to see me do a tutorial on how I make my texts on Photoshop or uh, how I make my backgrounds even then just let me know in the comments and uh, yeah if you enjoyed this tutorial and think that you learned something new then please give it a like in the comment and uh, maybe a fade that would be awesome and uh, yeah you don't fuck with a god guys and i'll see you later this has been dream arts goodbye